Alright. So, today's plan. So, we've got this, uh, this tutorial fort. And I think we have covered pretty much all the... We've covered the basics, I think. I mean, we, we could go in and we could start making, like, gladiator pits for uh, plump helmet men. Or, and throwing our goblins into there or whatever. We can, we can like, make some minecart shotguns. But the basics, I think, have been covered. Um, I may come back to it, but I want to get into trying out uh, um, Legends mode and Adventure mode. And do a bit of a tutorial on that. One of my favorite things with Dwarf Fortress is, as many of you know that have watched, uh, hello cat, um, is building your fort and then uh, going into ad adventure mode and then grabbing someone from that fort and doing doing uh, things with him. So that's what we're going to do today. And this is like shaky. So that is the plan. Hey, Mr. P. So, um, now we, we have two options if we want to uh, retire this fort. We can, we can retire the fortress for the time being, which means the fortress will go on doing its thing. Every day-to-day uh, -day life uh, being a fortress. Like, the AI basically takes over the fort. Uh, and we can, uh, we can come back to the fort if we want to. And we'll, we, will, we will do that, and I'll show how to do that later on. Uh, we also have the option of, of abandoning it, which means we all just completely leave. The fortress is gone. It's just a ruin. We want to retire the fortress... Because, um, to go in, you can't do both Fortress Mode and Adventure Mode at the same time. They have to, uh, the way the game plays out is it, the game processes in the background while you play. So if you're in Adventure Mode, the Fortresses will still do other things, the Wars will still go on. If you're in Adventure Mode, same thing, or, uh, Fort Mode. So, uh, we can actually go into Legends, you in Fortress Mode if you use DF Hack. You can type in Open Legends. I think is the key. It's a good idea to save. You just say, you already saved it. So make sure before you do this, you save. But this will bring up Legends mode in your fort that you are at right now. Um, but um, we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to retire the fortress and show it the other way. Yes, retire. Fortress will become part of the world. Many you may resume control later, but circumstances will not necessarily be as you left them now. And yeah, that's true. Sometimes when you uh, retire forts and come back to them, it's very strange what happens. Rhythm of day-to-day -day living with beyond your meticulous concern. Hey, immortal Ryakin. So we now we now still have our uh, Ushul Kador is the name of our our region, an AK dude. <clears throat> so uh, well, Fortress Mobile will take us back back into Fortress Mobile. We could play that. We could reclaim that fort if we want to. We wouldn't build a new fort if we want. Uh, we want to try out Legends mode and kind of show that off. Ryakin, we are checking out. Legends mode today. And then we'll go into adventure mode. You try to do things in cages get out for you. I don't think so. They may. Um, it... It... Whatever... What happens whenever you retire is, is a mystery. Sometimes you may have a flooded fort when you come back. You may have just magma laying around. It's strange what happens. In, uh... <laughs> when you <laughs> leave your fort. <clears throat> hey, before. Okay, so this is, uh, Legends mode. It, uh... It is basically the... <clears throat> uh, everything the world generation uh, shows you. So, like, every <clears throat> every figure, every creature that has been created is here. Basically, everything that has a name is going to be in here. Uh, you can see, like, these guys' names. These are Forgotten Beasts. Uh, we have a Forgotten... Yeah, lots of, lots of Forgotten Beasts. Aiden the Witch of Sin is, is his name. Really? <laughs> the Shame of Clams. That's, that's a rough name. <laughs> uh, you can all, you can come in here. This, so we have all these. These are goblins down here. We have female people. We can see all of our dwarves that are in our fort will be in here as well. Um, we can go. All the sites would be all of the, and, and including the like the necromancy towers would also be um, the forts and things. Yeah, we'll get to Legends Viewer in just a moment. Um, but yeah, those are all the sites that are in the world. We have all the artifacts. Those would be like the things that uh, people make. There's not very many of them at the moment. What was the one that we made uh, at ours? It was... I don't remember what it was. Unknown Goblin. I don't remember what it was called. But we, we made we made one of these. I don't remember what it was called. Was it this one? That no, wasn't it. Pure Pus Gristle? Now, the, uh, the artifacts... 
this is going to get a big update, I guess, in the next in the next update. This is getting a big update. And um the uh but but what is in here is things that are like necromancy towers in adventure mode. They are artifacts that are in that fortress. That's what makes it a uh a necromancy tower. That's what allows you to raise the dead is some sort of a artifact. So if you're in adventure mode, you can come find one of the artifacts and bring it back to your house. I like looking at legends mode before I go into adventure mode because it kind of gives me an idea of the world and and uh, kind of gives you an idea of what is going on in the world. I don't remember what the name of the place was. I don't remember. Surveying might help. I don't remember what we made. Hmm. Anyways, that's all the artifacts. We have all the different regions in the world. We have underground regions with all the different cave systems. We'll make you a legend in DF, just like you mean like a historical figure. Would be just, just killing something. Um, all the different civilizations that are in the world, including ours. Which, Palace of Balls, that's us. We're the top one right there. Uh, all the different artworks that are around. The gear of idleness. The tour of pondering. Uh, all the different structures. And the maps. So, there's a much easier way of looking at this. This is in Dwarf Fortress. There's always, there's always an easier way. There's always a utility. Um, and this will show you the different... You can see the Palace of Balls. If you want to look at this mode, Palace of Balls, we are the green diamond. Blue, blue, green, blue teal diamond. Uh, you can kind of see our, our region. If you hit plus and minus, it'll advance time. So we have the Dwarven Fortress right here, the Palace of Balls. We only have three civilizations in there. Four. With that one, we have Drill Dust. We have... The evil of Finns, which is the goblin fort, and then we have the elves up here. The blockaded creatures. So you can see we have elves, dwarves, humans, goblins. And as we hit plus, we advance uh, 10 years, and you can see all the civilizations. As they build fortresses, their land grows, and you can just kind of see them um, fighting over the things. How many? How far do we go here? We went to year 120, so we can kind of see the world basically taken over by all these different things. Is this us? I'm not sure who this is. The Union of Sheens has shown up as well. Um, okay, so we'll we'll show this off in a second. Bronze Age Colossus. And this is like the complete timeline. The Age of Bronze Colossus and Savannah Titan. Uh, so everything that happens in the game is here. You can page down and go faster if you want. But this is uh, essentially the entire world. All the... Um, here we go. In late autumn in 126, the crest and barricade of the Palace of Balls has settlement of Handle Tub. Handle 2, regain their senses after an initial period of questionable judgment. Judgment. <laughs> okay. I think that means that... Oh, Handle 2, was that... That was me, wasn't it? Maybe that was me retiring the fortress. Uh, but uh, you can see some folks uh, go... You can see whenever battles happen, all this, this is in here. Now, an easy way to look at this is to hit X. Do an XML dump. And then we're going to pull it up. This, uh... Whoops, here... In your folder, your Dwarf Fortress folder, it's going to be in your Lazy Noob Pack, and in the Utilities, I believe, and then in... No. Hold that. Dwarf Fortress... For the, the, in the main Dwarf Fortress folder, you'll see in here a file. This one here, Region 1. I just did it today, 123. Uh, this file, we're going to upload into Legends Viewer, which is right here. And here we can open up Legend Viewer. And this is going to be a much easier to read and understand way of showing everything that I just showed, basically. So here is Legends Viewer. I think I have everything in, in the window. Let me make this. Make sure this fits right. Like that. Okay, so this is Legends Viewer. Now we want to. Upload our XML archive, which is going to be not here. It's going to be close over here. So we're back here in our file, back to the Dwarf Fortress file, and there it is. We're going to upload that. It will upload in just a moment, and then we can see everything that's happening. A much easier way of seeing everything that is that is uh, that I just showed you, but even better detail. So we can go to. We have a few options down here. World stats. This is going to tell us basically every creature that is alive in the world. As soon as it loads. Hello. 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 <laughs> uh, let's try it again. 
Load for me. Just a moment. Just, just a moment. <laughs> uh, did, I, did I export any maps? Did I not? Oh, I didn't, did I? Um, yes. Right. Also hit P and D. P. And D. D. Uh, do we need any of these? We don't necessarily need the Ds. Uh, we could do... Okay, we don't necessarily need any of these. Just get the, the detailed map. Uh, um, I'm sorry, the P. The map and generation and info. Right. Right. It's been a while since I pulled up Legends. I should have practiced and made sure I knew what I was doing before I did this. So we want to load up that, and then we'll just do it now. There we go, there we go, now it'll work. Thanks, Ryokin. Nice to have you around. Okay, so this is a much easier way of reading what is going on. We can look at our world map if we want, and uh, see, basically, this is, well, this is what we were looking at before. We can we can toggle the civilizations, which we have the Union of Sheens. These are our humans that are in here. Every little spot is a site of theirs, like a, uh, a town or something. We have the blockaded creature. These are the elves. We saw them uh, when they came in. And these are all their spots. We can also change the date. We're at year... Where's our year marker? Uh, year 126 right now. This is where we left off. We can go all the way back if we want to go to year uh, zero. And then go year by year if we wanted to. Like we saw before, there's the Palace of Balls. That's us. Uh, we had the, uh, the the evil fins down here, the goblins. Uh, I must have... Did I see the Union? Yeah, the Union of Sheens. We saw them. They were, yeah, they were in there. They were around. And then we have the elves up top here. Um, and then you can just go through each individual year if you want to see, and you can see all the different forts getting created. We can go by tens if we want. Uh, we should be in here soon. We're at... We should be... Where are we? Is this, uh... Where is this? That must be ours right here. No, that's not us. That's the place that was taken by the... That's the goblins. Where are we? Hmm. Did we get, like, taken over? We did. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so we are the red. The Palace of Balls are the, is our dwarves. Uh, we... You can see... And you can even for, for, uh, hover over each individual place, and it'll tell you, like, uh, what's all there. Like, here at Amarith, we have 350 horses, 13 dwarves, 12 guinea fowls, and here at... What's this one called? Cobalt Cold. 19 alpacas, 19 rabbits. There is 11 humans in our place. That's Myth Papers. We have 19 dwarves. We're a pretty tiny civilization. But as time goes on, we can see us getting attacked and taken out by the evil fins, the goblins. And as a matter of fact, like, we're basically a dead civilization, aren't we? This was that Handle Tube was us. That's that's our fort. We were the only dwarves. Oh, man, we should... We're going to have to go back there because we're going to get a king then. <laughs> that's hilarious. So we have... And you can see this is our, our fort. We had 52 dwarves. We had 9 dogs, 7 cats. We had three goblins that lived with us, some humans. Uh, there was apparently some cave swallow man outcasts around. And a bunch of visitors. That's where we uh, we left off. And uh, we can actually see battles. If you click on the battle tab, the little circles will pop up. And you can see the individual battles that happened. And uh, this is going to be... This is the entire uh, world creation system that the game makes. That uh, goes from year one all the way up. And you can see every battle. You can see who died in every battle. You can see... Um, all the different, uh, here's all the different sites. Like, what's this? This is a dark pit that has some goblins in it. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much, that's the map mode. So let's go back to this mode. So this one tells us, and you can see dwarves. There's only 168 dwarves in the entire world. I'm not sure where most of them are. Um, and you can see we've got uh, 4,900 goblins in the world. There's 2,800 Humans, 1900 elves, 168 dwarves. And here's our palace of balls right here. We are in the middle. We can click on everything here and it'll tell you, take you to the information on me. Like, for instance, the elves. Blockaded creatures is the elves. We have, uh, apparently, this one elf turned into a night creature. These are our druids. We have princesses. We have queens with the elves. These are just elf things. All the different wars they have fought. They apparently were fighting against us, the War of Barbs, the War of Roasting, the Splattered Conflict against us. Uh, and we can even click on that war if we want. And uh, we can see what happened. They sent a, uh, a, a group from this place 
down to here and attacked us. Waged by the blockaded creature on the Palace of Balls. They killed 41, we killed 63. They won every battle, they conquered three. Uh, I'm not sure what the three things would be. Three pillagings. Is that three different forts they took out? We can read through all this and find out all that information if we wanted to. Unknown historical figure. Devoured unknown historical figure. <laughs> uh oh, they probably had... Oh, Udib was struck down by a grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. Oh, those dirty elves are bringing in grizzly bears and jaguars. Those dirty elves. We can come in here and we can look at... We'll just go back here. We have the age of the, This is our era. It's, uh, these eras, what is it, like every 150, 200 years or so, it, it switches eras. I think it's, I think it's just not necessarily a set time, it's just certain events that happen that, uh, cause it to change. Um, we want to look at us. So here's us. Last known site is this one. We have all of our notable elves. We have the war, the cremated conflict, which is our war with the uh, the evil of fans. I think there are some towers. I think I thought there were. I'll have to check. Crested barricade. That's us. We retired it, but it's still going to be taken. Should be it'll still be run by dwarves. So we should be able to go back to there uh, unless we uh, we'll be able to go back there unless it gets like overrun or something. And then in here we can see, uh, this is all the the history of the Palace of Balls and what they have done. We can come down here at the bottom, we can see us again. I'm not sure what the unknown historical figure is. That's, uh, I've never seen that before. But, uh, these are going to be... Stop being leans. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I guess, you know what, was our civilization, like, dead for a while? Let me see here. Yeah. Our, um... Our civilization, the Palace of Balls, was defeated basically by the evil, by the goblins, the evil of Finns back in the year 66. We came in and started our fort. We, like, reclaimed and rebuilt the, the Dwarven Empire uh, into the Palace of Balls. I don't actually know. Do you, how do you see... How do you find vaults? In, uh, I'm not sure how to find them in here. Would it be under sites, maybe? Oh, there you go. We got one. I'm not sure how to find it, though. And then we have all the creatures that are in here. We have all the alive creatures that are in the world. There's 133 dwarves out there somewhere. Um, but you can see this is just, like, overwhelming, the number of things that you can figure out on here. But it's cool to figure out things. Like, if you're going to go into adventure mode, you can you can learn some things about um, about what you're going to be doing. Charts tells us just the different events. Sites sub tab. We want we go fortress Greece. Here it is. We do have a vault over here. There are fifty deformed beings, twenty-five deformed messengers, and one destroyers of Ohid in the uh, the Frilly Grove. The time and the in the time before time, the demon Bax where nots the spidery riddle created fortress Greece. Puskrisol was stored. Oh, Puskrisol. We that's the one we saw before. Puskrisol was stored in Fortress Creek by the demon. What is Puskrisol? Legendary unknown. We don't know what Puskrisol is. Uh, we're in Fortress Greece. What's the Philly? That is uh oh, that's just that's like their sieve. Oh, okay. We may need to go check that out and we may need to check check that out in adventure mode. We will die, certainly. The demon backs where knots. Who's this guy? He has some journey pets. Oh, he's the master of the goblins. Master of the evil of fins. We can see all his skills. We can see what he... Yeah, he led all these attacks against us. He's the one... No, 66 was whenever it was ended. And won many times. They lost the first couple of battles, but they won everything else. All these notable kills that, uh, that he has made... Thrust a spire of Slade up from the underworld, naming it Unknown Structure. And it's how it's the gateway between worlds. 
and hate routed. This is the goblin, uh, the goblin home. This is where he came from. Man, the goblins are like taking over the world. You see, just in this in this fort alone, they have 58 human prisoners in this fort, and 1,200 goblins. <laughs> oh, there's 23 of our dwarves in there. They're living with the goblins. Uh, the worst. Um, what else can we look at here? We saw we don't we don't know what plus crystal is. He created it, then he swore it there. Best way to kill a cow. <laughs> yeah, so we found something terrible. We may uh, we may have to go check this out. Made a journey to the depths of the world. He tamed creatures in the hate in the depths of the world. Oh yeah. <laughs> the spidery riddle. What was his name again? Bax where not. We're gonna remember this guy. But yeah, up here we have all these different tabs that we can look at as well. We have the summary tab, we have the geography tab, which we can look at all the different uh, the different places. We have the, the hairy water, which is our ocean. A few folks have died in the hairy water for some reason. Oh, I guess in the, in the hairy water region. I guess like the underground regions, the mountain regions. Uh, all the historical feature uh, figures will be in here. If we can find that uh, that Bax guy would certainly be in here. Uh, our folks that we made should be in here. I'm not sure if they're going to be... They, I don't think they show the nicknames, though, so I'll have to remember what their names were before being nicknamed, I think. Yeah, I think so. We can look at... All the different dwarves. Yeah, they're going to be... They won't... Oh, he were... Uh, died in 49. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's keep the names in. Okay. So, like, we have Bob here. We can see what, uh, we can see all of his relationships. And, uh, we can actually see. So, if we go to Bob. How do I see, um... I'm trying to think. Um... We haven't found our goal yet for this venture. Mm, checking out that uh, that vault might be an idea, though. I've never been to a vault before, actually. Um, so we have Bob settled in a handle tub in 125, and he gave up being a uh, unknown job. I'm not sure why he keeps following up. Remember, he was my trader, my broker, and then switched over. I'm not sure why he keeps saying unknown job. I've never seen that before. We have pre-clues. It's been a while since I checked out Legends mode, though, so it may be something that's uh, a recent issue. Stoffel. Check out one of these guys. Um, some of these folks, I, I guess it's because maybe they came to me, or they, maybe they're my first ones. They don't have the, like, I don't know what Sean Bean. They don't have the family tree like others do. But we have uh, Gone King. Uh, right here. He is the son of Ubzu and... Esther, uh, no. Not sure how that works. The son of Ubzu, Uzbu, and Stozu. I'm not sure how the <laughs> this family tree works. Let me get a simpler one. Okay, that's still confusing. So anyways, you can see the the, <laughs> the family tree. We have the former king of the Palace of Balls right here, Kadol in year one. Actually, right, so let's take out this guy. He had several kids. He died in 24, struck by a troll in the Siege of Screams as part of the World Crucifixion. <laughs> um, but then we can see who he, like we have Shem. Let's check out Shem. We can see where Shem, and all of Shem's children that, uh, that she had. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can spend like hours on this thing. Uh, Shem had lots of children. Look at all those kids. Shem's like a rabbit. Um, just gonna look at, we can look at any necromancers that are out there. No? Oh, wait, not dwarf. Do I not have any necrom necromancers? None? Oh. We can see our were beasts. We can see all... These are all our were beasts in here. Uh, all the leaders of the different factions. We have any vampires. We have two vampires that are living in the world. We have a human and a... 
Vampire Administrator, eh? Goal? Fall in love. Okay. And we can see where they lived. Uh, any uh, deities? Not vampire deities, just regular deities. So these are all our deities. What was one of the ones we uh, we were following? It wasn't Dixel. Was it Cobb? Yeah, Chris, yeah it might have been Cobb. Metalcraft's in there. I think it was. Yeah. Most of it as a female dwarf. I guess Cobb doesn't have much of a history. Any of these? Nope, they're just pretty simple. There we go. Ravel. Oh, uh, actually was a was actually a person. In order to glorify, well, maybe not. They're just things made for them. I thought I thought that uh, deities could be people in the world. I could be wrong. Like we have uh, Shoneth here is a human. Put deity curse vampire on the human vampire. Oh, you made someone a vampire. Authored by the elf turned night creature, Fidane. Huh? Hello. Oh. Diamond cockroach angels. <laughs> Let's see here. So we can also look at our sieves. <clears throat> so these are all the sieves that are in the world. There's a bunch of them. Most of them are probably dead, like the Palace of Balls was. Uh, last known sites was year 125. That was us, right here. We already looked at this one, didn't we? We have all the different, uh, ones here, though. Anything else? <clears throat> Anything else we need to show here? We can see all the different wars that have happened. All the different, uh, there's the War of Crucifixion, which is one that took us out by the evil Finns. What was the war from the, uh, the elves? What do they call that one? Cremated Conflict? No, that's a different one against us. The Scorched War. There's the um, the humans versus the uh, goblins. War of Barbs. There it is. The War of Barbs. That's it. We lost. We lost uh, several folks there too. Um. All right. Let's go back here. Um. Let's see what else we want to show. Is that it? For uh, th um, Legends mode, I think it might be. I guess I don't have a uh, a necromancy tower. I thought I, I thought I did in the world. I guess not. All those sites. We know this site's over here. This is where is that one? Fortress Greece. There it is. There's the vault that we were looking at before. There's our fortress. We can see uh, a lot of these are just little camps, nothing too exciting. This is uh, Abyss Dead, the Ashen Skulls, which is a lair. Uh, a lumbering hag is living in that hair, that uh, that lair. These are folks that could have easily attacked us later on, like that hag. Certainly could have uh, come over here. Four kobolds living there. We have a giant hyena here, the, the Cracked Wind. Cracked Wind. These dark pits, we have 64 goblins. More goblins there as well. Hey, Adolfo. Giant alligator down here. But you can, uh, I wish, I wish I had a necromancy tower. But I don't. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, anybody think of anything else that, uh, I'm missing from, a, from, a Legends mode? Again, you can pull this up while you're in Fortress mode. Just open dash, um, Fortress. Fortress isn't dead yet. We are just, uh, we, we retired it to check out this and to do a bit of adventure mode today. Are the um let's go the let's go forward here. The elves aren't looking too good either. I mean the humans and the goblins seem to have kind of taken over the world here. <clears throat> let's see. It's all charts. Charts, I don't really understand how to read charts very well. I guess we can like. I never messed with charts before. When you re there's two options. You can retire a fort or you can abandon a fort. When you retire, they stay there. Things continue to happen. Um, things just continue to happen. <laughs> uh -huh. 
and then you can come back to it, which we will do. We'll uh, we'll do this today, and then we'll come back. We'll do uh, we'll also do some adventure mode, and then we'll go to uh, back. We can reclaim ours if we want, and um, see how we do. I mean, if we are the end of the dwarves. What is the chat you're receiving in your overlay? I can't see it. Oh, because it's white. Can you not see it because it's white? Oh, so we do have a fallen civilization, the uh, kobolds. I guess ours was fallen until we came back, perhaps, because there's 52 um, of us, plus the six others. So we were fallen, but not anymore. All right, so are we ready to try adventure mode? Now, we have a few options for adventure mode. Um... There is a more detailed map, isn't there? Uh, how do I pull up the... Right, can you probably know. How do I pull up the fancier looking map? Do I have to like... Not this one. How do I look at the... There's a way of making a prettier map, but I don't remember how to do it. Oh, those are from YouTube. YouTube and Twitch. I'm streaming on both. Overlay. We want... That's where we pull up a different map. That's where I can get the new maps. Legends info. Oh, one word. Export legends. Labyrinth. That's a good idea. Good question. Um, sites. A couple shrines. We have a few layers. We have... Oh, we do have a labyrinth. One minotaur at this labyrinth. Ooh, the murky hole is a labyrinth. We also have a whole bunch of layers. The layers would be things like holding like the giant crocodile or whatever. Okay, so now I can pull up go back to my map. Um, can I pull it up now? Oh, the plus. I want the plus, don't I? This one, we want to upload plus. There we go. That's more. Yeah, okay. I thought something seemed to be missing. Now we should be able to go to world map and then load uh, alternate map? That's not it. Do I have to completely go out and back in? <laughs> um, overlays. That's what I want. That's not it. This uh, this tells me things like uh, we can see all the different battles that have happened. I didn't show this one off. Uh, battle deaths, where all the deaths have happened. There's a lot of us. A lot of us have died. Site, all the different side events, a lot of uh, a lot of happenings up here with the elves. Oh, a lot of beasts have been ha attacking the elves. How do I change my map though to be the uh, the, the 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 prettier map? I know there's a way of changing. I need to load. This is info day, Adolfo. We'll fight in a moment. Um, I'm not loading one of the maps properly. I don't remember how to do it. Been a while since I pulled up this. Um, 
You can get a different map. It looks fancier. It looks much fancier. I don't remember how to do it. It's just not an ASCII, basically. Expert Legends all. Wow, that's it. Okay. We'll see how long this takes. It won't take too long. Then we'll get the prettier maps. And it'll look a little bit nicer. I've, I did a video on this a long time ago. Uh, showing off um, Legends mode. That's what we went. We went all the different... Uh, yeah, that's, that's what we went. Remember, I went in there before. Into a fortress. That's right. Um, in the historical maps, we can pull up the different ones this way. Go back in here. Are you done? Yes. So we want to load up plus to the map. We want to load up the I think it's the detailed. Yeah, this is it. And then we can switch over to this. If you want to look at a pretty map. A very pretty map. And then we can still put our sites and sibs and things on top of it so we can still see Things that are happening, but this is a little bit nicer. You can see all the mountains. You can see the different uh, the different regions and the uh, the uh, biomes. I suppose would be the word. You can zoom in pretty close, and you can see what all is happening here. Um, different sites that are around. We had that minotaur. Minotaur was up here, not that one. There's the labyrinth. The murky hole is this labyrinth. And, um, we can also, what's the, uh, what's another one of these? We have a detailed one. That's the one that we pulled up just now. Uh, there's, it's hybrid. Oh, is that? Okay. Okay. Okay, but that's enough, I think, uh, Legends mode. Any, is anything else that, uh, that I'm missing for Legends mode? I think it pretty much covers all the, all of that. So you can kind of figure a way around it. And, uh, I mean, you could spend a long time on this. Clearly. I have spent a long time on it. Just sort of getting an idea of your world and and uh, all the things that are generated whenever you build your world. <laughs>